We're going to invest more than $25 million above and beyond existing funding of $76 million to support the fight against guns and gangs. This is real money, critical funding targeting the areas of greatest need. Priority areas that were identified in consultation with Chief Mark Saunders and other members of the Toronto Police Services. Because we believe the Chief knows best, he knows where the resources are most needed. Chief Saunders and his team are out every single day on the front lines keeping Toronto safe. And that's who we believe in listening to. Not the politicians at City Hall, not the so-called experts, so we're going to start by creating and funding a dedicated legal SWAT team for each provincial courthouse. Each team will be led by an experienced Crown Attorney and each team will have only one mission, keeping violent gun criminals behind bars and away from bail. These teams will work closely with regular Crown Attorneys and our Guns and Gangs teams to provide additional legal expertise and support. Resources that will help police keep gangsters and gun criminals locked up. And each of these legal SWAT teams will be supported by a new dedicated bail compliance officers. Officers that will go into the field and keep an eye on gun criminals who are out on bail. These resources are welcomed by the Toronto Police and will make a significant difference in the fight to keep violent gangsters and gun criminals off our streets. We aren't experts. The politicians aren't experts. They, all politicians think they're experts, but they aren't. The experts are the police. So we're going to hand over the money. They're going to be accountable and they're going to be able to tell us this is where we think the money should go. Next question. No, there's no, there's no, there's no Tavis. There's no carding. That's going to be up to uh, the police uh, to focus on. Uh, I, I think uh, things are changing now in policing, uh, looking at digital technology. But I can't stress it enough. Uh, I'm from the old school. I love boots on the ground. I love having police in neighborhoods. But again, that's not up to the premier uh, to decide. It's up to uh, the police chief to decide.